Hey guys, this is Riptyron, Riptyron's World. Well, welcome back. Everything is pretty much just the way you left it. I haven't really done anything since you guys left. Except go to the nether. And I remember telling you guys <laughs> that I was gonna start myself a little blaze farm. Well, I might have gotten around to that. <laughs> yes, I did. I did get around to it. As you well know from seeing this, oh my goodness, I made myself a little, a little blaze farm, and it's good, it's real good, it works amazing. But first, I'm going to show you a little tour because I have to remake this. Apparently, um, I don't know if anybody's gone and saw, but the tail end of my last LP failed. And I was talking about my build up here and over there. But essentially, um, I went up and did all this talking, and it failed to load. Uh, yeah, I reloaded it, redid it three or four times, and nothing. It just never did turn out. But I was talking about my plans. Anyway, uh, essentially I've got this plan to do a wall straight through there and a big arced bridge, you know, something scenic. And I want to I wanna basically continue... Ooh, some music, that's nice. I want to continue this theme of a wall. And all this through here is basically the beginning of that plan. And I'm thinking that wall comes out with a nice porch just like on the other side. And eventually I hope to continue this all the way around and then have this bridge that comes over this way, arcs over. And that'll be pretty good. This'll become like a big quad. There'll be, uh, it'll, it'll just be open in here. I might, I might start a cattle farm there. I'm not too sure. But this in here will all be, uh, pretty much just a shooting gallery. I'll open it up and get it dark and It'll be a shooting gallery for me. Anyway, you go up this ladder here, and I did some preliminary clearing out. Didn't really do any any real work, um, but this is just basically the inside here. Nothing, nothing to it. Just that's the way it is. Um, over here, this is the tower that I'm gonna put uh, another portal on. And I'm just making this big tower. Uh, there we go. Aye. And up here, I don't know if I'll put it this far up, but I might go a little bit further past the clouds. And this will be where I put another portal. Hopefully it's far enough away from the other one that it'll bridge a separate one somewhere. Hopefully near the top of the nether, not down somewhere else. Anyway. Ooh, oh, whoa. <laughs> it gives you a little vertigo there. Um, uh -huh. Anyway, that's what's going on with that. Hopefully we can get back in time. Take a shortcut. You should see this place at night, man. It is just zombie city. Dang. Really loaded up with zombies. 
tour here. <laughs> so anyway, back to the portal and to the nether. Alright. Where did he see me? Uh, I guess the wall hadn't formed. Something like a chunk area right there. Anyway. This is all new. And... <coughs> This is not a chunk error. This is the nether portal. It's all black. It is just so hard. Hard to see. Well, down through there, I fell in lava, making this little area. And I died, but I not before this armor saved my butt. Look at this armor. Everything has fire protection. Oh, that is amazing. Anyway, saved my butt. It's about time to repair it again, which is one of the reasons why I'm going back here. I really have not had time to repair my armor. Oh, it's this way. Yeah. Uh, it is super easy to get lost in here. Hold on. Yeah, this way. Through this crack. And this way, yeah. Super easy. I've got like these torches to, you know, spammed to make my way through here. Okay. And this is my little shortcut. I did have to go through the whole damn thing. Uh, I think it's this way. Okay, yeah. Here we are at the bottom of the blaze farm. Now, this thing is just identical down to the button all the wiring everything this is identical to ethos etho came up with this etho engineered this this is everything that etho did all i did was copy it right off his video so he gets all the credit for this and it's it's a superb job this thing works down to the tick. Uh, he's right. You do have some blaze that are uh, spawning into um, the the blocks or whatever that uh, get trapped by the, the uh, piston pushers, and they take a little bit of damage, and they end up dying down here in the crusher. But anyway, this works just like he says it does and uh, my hat's off to him he's really done a good job with that um this appears i built all this before i made the spawner uh essentially i blocked it off and then i had to re-block it off to get the dimensions right and believe me trust me you want to do that before you start you want to make sure that these torches are out where they should be uh, because you need all the uh, all the uh, correct correct dimensions to get this thing to function properly the way he's got it laid out. It'll make a big difference when it comes time to doing the wiring down here. Because if you're a block off, all of this becomes super hard because you have to realign it. And you don't know where your build is in, compared to his build. So, it is super critical that you get it all lined up. Anyway, um, I can see how a lot of the people that comment say, Oh, you didn't work, you didn't work. And it's because they're dumb and they did something wrong. Anyway, let's fire it up. And I'll give that time. There we go. Now it's dark. And it's going to start spawning. And go. There they are. And straight down. Hello. So, anyway, this thing works just amazing. Uh, he's got what's known as a nor latch switch, which is what this little configuration is. 
Um, and you have a torch on this side and a torch on that side. And there's wiring charge coming in. And the charge goes over. It basically shuts itself off until another charge is met to it from another source. So in this case, it comes in here, goes all through this, and then comes back, and then comes up to itself from the other switch. So you can push the button, and it turns on, and it stays on. No matter what you do back here, pushing the button, it's already going. So you push this first button, it engages this, the pistons, sets the timer in the motion. Also, it, it basically does everything. You push the second button and it resets the latch and it opens these pistons here so that more blades come down. It is fairly complicated, but it works flawlessly. So we can push it now. All right, see the pistons closed up there and the crusher is engaged on the timer, and there's the timer right there ticking off. There it goes. That's the end of it. When this ends, those pistons will open, but the top gate will not until I push this button. So now, I kill them. It's basically one hit kill should do it. Actually, I, you saw me back there taking it down to two hit kill, and that's because I don't want them dying. That'll help. And now, I push this button, and that gate will open up, and we can start again. One's trapped. Up. So he's dying. <laughs> and this is a little bit more than I want, so, or, so I'm gonna put that to one more tick, and that should do it. Alright, let's try it again. They're crushing, and hopefully that one little tick will make it so that I can one hit kill it again. One hit kill, one hit kill. Yep, that's perfect. They're not dying, but I'm getting exactly what I need. Set, back wall goes back, and we're ready for more. I'm going to stop this. I don't really have all I need. I've got 30. And one hit kill. One hit kill. Blaze rods galore. So, very awesome job. One guy left, and see up here? The lava's back because I flipped the lever. And his dumb butt. I don't want him standing out here. And he, he died. Darn. Well, you're going to have that every time. So anyway. Open it back up. Nobody left in. Okay. So. All of this works great. Uh, the problem I had, and do have, is these guys spawning in here and walking around constantly. I hate them. And I had problems with them spawning out here. Now, I can get rid of all this and create uh, what, you know, half slab it all out here. And that'll get rid of the skeletons from spawning and the blades from spawning out here. Um, not sure I really want to do that. Um, but it would help out a great deal. Damn it. what's going on. This is a very complicated big build. Uh, I, there was no way I was going to do this on camera. It was just 
too much concentration, uh, lava everywhere. Um, I had to build out this area before I got in there. I cleared two or three levels of soul sand. Oh my goodness, soul sand. That soul sand is a big problem because you, you just uh, go slow as hell. Um, but I had to, I had to get rid of all that, get rid of stuff for so that the gas wouldn't mess up the wiring. Um, just a big, big headache. Anyway, that's what's going on. And I'm real proud of this build, even though I copied it. It is an accomplishment. Um, this is nothing to shake a stick at. I mean, that is complicated. So, probably the most complicated thing I've ever done on Minecraft. So, I had to rework all of this so that uh, I could get around. Before I made these stairs, it was just so hard to drop down here. I was dropping down on the wiring and... It was just a mess. So this really is an accomplishment for me. I um, hope you guys understand how complicated that is. If you do take on a build like this, do yourself a favor. Do a lot of preliminary work before you start work. Because you don't want the ghasts and all these other pigmen in your way. Uh, it is not worth your time to start working without getting rid of those sources of headaches. Oh dear, there we go. Yeah. And that's it for my episode. So next time, I'll show you a little bit more about the blaze and what I've been doing with them. And we'll get back to some more epic builds. This is going to allow me to go up and experience really quickly. And um, do a lot more potion making so I'll show you what I've been doing as it comes along anyway thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time Tehran's World